What's going on YouTube? It's the one and only riding frame what you're looking at. This is my 1994 Chevy S10 by AMT. I know I said I wouldn't do AMT cars, but some of their older kits are really good. Some of their new stuff I don't like. Uh, anyway, so it's 125th scale. Um, most people know I'm doing this for the autism awareness uh, contest. Which, you know, autism is very close to my heart because I have a little cousin who's autistic. And my girlfriend also has a little cousin who's autistic. So, you know, it hits close to home. Anyway. So, I'm going to give you guys a little peek at what I've been up to. There's the box. All the goodies are inside the box. So, let's check that out. It's like Christmas time. And yes, it is an extended cab now. Um, so, yeah, let's check it out real quick. First and foremost, you can see it is going to be laid down on the ground. Um, that's how I do it. That's why my name is Riding Frame. Uh, I got it set on a pair of 23-inch Pegasus wheels right now. Um... It will not have these wheels on it when it's finished. These are just strictly for mock-up. Uh, the other thing I did was chop the top on this. Because I like chopped tops. I don't know why. So I cut it here. You can see a little line here. And then I cut this small section out here, which I've refilled since. And then I cut a little small, heat, a small cut here. And then I had to end up cutting it here and taking out a section here. And then I laid the whole roof back. Because if you lay these straight down, they'll get kind of a squared look to them. And I don't like it. I think it's ugly. So I laid this back pillar back. I laid the straight roof up. And then you can see my small little line right there where the two come together. Where it all comes together. And yeah. But it looks really good. I like it. Um, I still have a little bit of work to do on the windows. You can see some work here. And I got tons of body work still to do. I have shaved the door handles on this side. Well, you can see my line right here. I've drawn it in just so I know where it's at. So I can cut it back in after because I've been doing so much sanding that I pretty much sanded those lines right away. Um, sand it down. There's some molding on the side that I've sanded away. Let's see if I can put some more light on the situation here. So I've got rid of that on this. I've done it on the other side also. I still have this side to fill in on the other side and the shave the doors on the other side but this side's pretty much done uh, I've made a template for this the rear window which looks really good and moved it to the other side so they're both the same um, as for the bed the bed hasn't been touched yet because I've been focused on the cab first bed second but um, custom bed floor on this one um, you know, all the molding on the side removed, possibly fully shaved. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep taillights in it or not. Um, yeah, the wheel tubs here will be gone. Probably custom ones. I got a lot of little custom touches going to this. I mean, just weird little details I never thought I'd put in a car, but I'm putting in this one for some reason. Um, oh, the front cowl section right here. The wiper cowl section is all shaved now. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, the bumper is going to be custom made. I'm working on that. The frame right now is that. Yeah, I know. It's a big thing, huh, guys? Yep. That's all I have with the frame right now. That's the original frame. Um, this is going to get added. Well, it's going to get some plastic added to it. Some um, ever some styrene tubing added to it to lengthen it because since I stretched the, the cab it went longer it's a whole thing it's a pain in the butt and I want to do a custom frame anyway so I'm going to do that I'm going to do custom upper and lower control arms um, my airbags as always lots and lots of work still to do I got the back axle for it because this one this kit didn't come with one because of the guy I got it from I don't know if he just misplaced it or what but it didn't come with one, so I've took, I've taken the axle from the 1990 uh, one GMC Cyclone kit that I have above me and used it on this because you know I got independent rear on that one. Um, as for the interior, I've started working on that also. Uh, I've had to stretch, cut off the door panel section here, and then add this piece on that comes up the window ledge. And it has a little bit of a lip on it. So, you know, when it's seen from the outside, it'll look really nice. 
um, it'll look factory. I'm also going to add the seat belt post here, and it'll come on the floor and all that fun stuff. I still got to add my tunnel here. You can see I got the markings for it, and I've stretched it with some plastic to lengthen it. I got to put some wheel tubs in because the wheels I'm using are so big that they need some extra room. Well, other than that, that's as far as I've gotten right now. Um, hopefully in the next week or so I can get a hold of the tubing and stuff that I'm going to need to build my frame with. Um, what else? I still need to work on the interior here and there. Uh, oh, I'll give you guys a little peek at this. Show you guys that. That right there from the top all the way down to the bottom is everything I still have to do for this particular kit. From all my bodywork stuff to my chassis stuff to the interior, all my engine bay stuff and all the, you know, miscellaneous stuff. So lots and lots of stuff still to do on this thing. But it's coming along really good. I'm having lots of fun with it. So I'm going to cut it like this and just say as always, till next time, later.